Now, when it comes to Zaws in Warframe, they've had a few issues with regards stances not working right, range on polearm and staff Zaws being the same as they were on the daggers, and they've had a few other hiccups that have since been patched over since the release of the Eidolon update, and there's probably going to be more hotfixes still to come. So this gave a lot of players, myself included, it gave us the opinion that Zaws were a bad investment, not worth it, just stay the fuck away from them. Because for the amount of time you put into getting the reputation needed and the grind involved or the fishing involved in climbing the Ostron ranks, the return we got was a bit of a buggy mess of weapons that a lot of players felt look bad and still do and dealt mediocre damage compared to weapons that we could get a lot easier in the game already. But now that the Eidolon update has settled down and there's been more testing done on Zaws and some of the bugs have been fixed, Zaws feel like a whole different thing altogether. With the exception still of pole arms who still feel a little bit average compared to other pole arms in the category basically the lesion is just too fucking good nothing is as good as it single-handed zaw swords on the other hand or depending on the combination of sword that you build are pretty much the best swords in their category best in slot if you will the best single-handed swords in warframe now that's not saying that swords like i guess the broken war or the Crocor are bad in comparison because they're still amazing weapons and definitely worth using. I mean, a condition overload crit based Crocor is absolutely insane, but the Zaws are or can be a step up from those weapons. And whether you're building one for all out crit or all out status or maybe a mix of both, the options are great and the results are definitely worthwhile. And I think right now Machete Zaws and Dagger Zaws are basically the best in slot versions of those categories in the game as well. But let's be real, being the best Machete is kind of like being told you're the prettiest poop in the sewer. Good on you, you look fabulous darling, but you're still shit. So I built my Zord and like what I did there, I named it and I am now in the process of grinding the materials for an arcane for it, which I'm really hoping is worthwhile because a lot of them kind of don't look like they might be because it needs a lot of grinding in order to build that arcane. So before I show off the actual build and the combination required to make my Zord, let me first direct you towards a Zaw building website which will allow you to I guess pre-build a Zaw to test out the stats and see what all of the different combinations will give you before going ahead and actually purchasing the parts and maybe making the right choice. So that link to that website is in this video's description. So my Zaw is made up of a lacquer handle, the Miwan blade and a Vargit to Jai links fucking mouthful for a high crit based sword with a fast attack speed and when I combine these stats with a blood rush body count build it gives me a weapon that is a lot of fun to run with and deals a lot of damage. Now you could choose to go for a low crit chance and high status chance weapon by changing the links around and maybe building it with condition overload in mind if you have it and it will probably deal a lot more damage and be more powerful just by running with condition overload but with this setup, simply by equipping two of the new Gladiator set mods, I can have a 5 times crit damage multiplier on a weapon that hits orange and red crit status in seconds. Now, with regards modding, I have two builds. I have one which is a basic Blood Rush body count build for people who don't have the Gladiator set mods. And the other one, of course, like I said, has two of the Gladiator set mods on them for more crit damage. So if you're on PC, do you feel that Zaws are now watered with regards swords, machetes, daggers, or even staffs? Or maybe if you're on console, are you looking forward to finally getting your hands on these Zaws on Tuesday, I think tomorrow, when the update hits for you guys? In fact, how will the new infested Zaw parts that were shown off on DevStream 100 add or change stats for some of these Zaws? It's going to be fun to see what those bring with this event. Now, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Zaws now in Warframe. Do me a huge favour and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.